This video is sponsored by myself. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, I am Justin Rama and I make vlogs about med school and beyond med school. Oh, you look so cute. I am currently a fourth year medical student from Cebu, Philippines. And for today's video, we're gonna talk about the different scholarships that are available in my school, Cebu Institute of Medicine. So as a quick introduction, every school year in CIM is divided into two semesters. So we have here the first semester and the second semester. So the enrollment process is every semester. Thus, you have to enroll for the first semester and you have to enroll also for the second semester. So before we start with the different scholarships available, I just want to also share to you that these scholarships only cover the tuition fee. To clarify everything, there is what we call the overall tuition fee, so let's just call it 100. The tuition fee is 70 or like 70% and the miscellaneous fee is 30%. So with these scholarships, they only cover the tuition fee of 70%. So as a scholar, you still have to pay the 30% or the miscellaneous fees. Okay, with everything I have said, let's start. So there are four types of scholarships in CIM. Entrance scholarships, the college scholarships, special scholarships, and the special raffle scholarships. Okay, let's go first to the entrance scholarship. So this is offered to incoming first-year students who graduated with honors during their undergraduate studies or during college. So if you graduated summa cum laude, then you get 100% discount in the tuition fee. If you graduated magna cum laude, you get 50% discount. And if you graduated cum laude, you get 25% discount. If you're quite wondering if this scholarship is automatically given to students who graduated with honors in college, you still have to apply for this scholarship, meaning you have to give them a letter of intent that you want to apply for this scholarship or you want to acquire this scholarship since you are an honor student during college. I think they also need you to give an evidence that you really are an honor student during college. So the next type of scholarship is the college scholarship. So this is awarded to top one and top two students of their year levels. So for example, you are a first year student and now you are in your second year and then you are the top one student so you get 100% discount in your tuition fee for the first semester of your second year. If you are the top two student, you get 50% discount in the tuition fee for your first semester of second year. So the third type of scholarship is what we call the special scholarships. So there are different benefactors, different scholarship programs, different organizations which offer scholarships to deserving scholars. So I will try to put here the different special scholarships that I know. I don't know if there's an update for this year. So yeah. So the first type of special scholarship is the faculty development scholarship. As the name implies, faculty development scholarship so your return service for this scholarship is you have to serve as a faculty as a facilitator or as a teacher in the academe so the ratio for this um, scholarship is one is to two meaning every one year of being a scholar under this program you're expected to serve in the academe for two years so for example you have been a scholar for this scholarship for four years of your medical school so you are expected to serve in the academe for eight years as what I have known, you can serve this after your residency or after your medical board. So it really depends on you and they're not that strict uh, that you have to serve in 8 consecutive years. So yeah, as long as you get to serve the required years that you are going to serve. So another special scholarship is the Alumni Association Scholarship. Oh. 
other special scholarship is the CIM CHAD scholarship. So what I like about this CIM CHAD scholarship is that this is not strictly for first year students because I've known uh, friends in the school who applied during their second year, who applied during their third year, and they really get a chance to be given this scholarship. Yeah, that's one of the advantages of this CIM CHAD scholarship. So the next special scholarship is the Unilab Foundation Scholarship in which it has like a return service of one is to one, meaning one year of being a scholar, you're expected to serve one year. In their contract, they stated different um, options for you to serve. Also, another thing to note is that you don't really apply to a specific scholarship. It is like a general process in which you just apply for a scholarship. You apply to the scholarship committee and they're the ones who will place you to the specific scholarships. In my case, when I applied for a scholarship, I did not really say that I will apply to this scholarship A. I just said that I would like to apply to a scholarship. Another thing is that you can only apply for a scholarship if you are already an incoming first year, meaning you are accepted in the institution, like you have accepted the letter, na, congratulations, you have been accepted in Cebu Institute of Medicine, school year, blah, 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 blah. So like in our case, it's like really like a risk or like a leap of faith because you apply and then you enroll but then you don't know if you're accepted to a scholarship so yeah in my case it was really like a leap of faith i think a month or two like no response from the admin no response from the scholarship committee if they accepted me or not no response from anyone i just know na, oh my gosh will i get to be in second semester <laughs> But then again, huh, I'm really thankful because I'm here and I'm now in my fourth year. So like, I am here because of you kind donors, kind benefactors. Thank you so much. Also, before I forget, uh, I remembered some of the requirements. They required us to get an income tax return for the last three years also the contract of my dad for the past three years contract with the corresponding salary that he gets for that year because in our family my dad is the only a breadwinner so yeah oh yeah also one of the very important requirements letter of intent that you want to apply for a scholarship like i think it was the very first formal serious letter that i have to make so like i i'm not sure if na kung kopya wait ako kwa on paper OMG, it's here. It's in this paper. I mean, in this notebook. Wait, oh my gosh. What did they use? I remember, like, the research you put, how to make a scholarship application letter. How to something. How to something. Oh! <laughs> it's here. Oh my gosh. I remember when I made an outline. My date. June 21, 2018. And today is September 24, 2021. So like it's been years already. Before pandemic, we don't have a school email, but because of online class, we now have EduPH email. Now correct correct ko sa kung mga things, and I saw this. Oh my gosh, I kept this for how many years? Like oh. I don't know where I got this brochure. Maybe sa admin office. So yeah, that's this CIM. Information for applicants. I don't know what year many. Ang spelling sa kung career te career. I think nagpa edit sa ko sa kung friend ani like nagsan ko niya. Pidi ni mo e edit if masabtan or such. Thank you so much to all the people who helped you throughout these years. So like. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, click the like button and subscribe to this channel and see you guys next video.